And I'd like to share one example of him living those verses from, from the Gita, that everything is God. He was st staying in a small room in a, uh, in a rest house on some temple grounds. And the room was just had hardly anything in it, just a few of his possessions. He had a couple of mats, had an umbrella. Uh, he had a hurricane lamp and some religious books. A water pot. That was basically all he had. And one night, he was just sitting on the floor of his room when a man burst into his room, a very strange-looking, disheveled-looking man. His clothes were all torn and ragged, and he was carrying a bundle on a, on a palm stri stick. And uh, he just asked if he could stay. And Ram Dass said, yes, I stay. So the man sat down and unwrapped his bundle, which, which was a big collection, of, sort of a bizarre collection of stray bits of colored cloth. And he set them out very, very carefully. And Ram Dass was watching this, and he just had the thought, O oh Lord, thou comest in wonderful disguises. <laughs> and the man looked at him at that point and laughed. Then he gathered up all this cloth, put it back, put it back in the bundle. And he said, I would like to have that outer cloth of yours. For Ram Dass's brother had given him two outer cloths to wrap himself in. And Ram Dass took off the outer cloth and gave it to him. And the man then started to chant a little bit in a very bizarre sing-song voice. And after a while, he stopped and looked at Ram Dass. He said, I want that other outer cloth of yours. <laughs> well, Ram Dass gave him the other outer cloth. I said, now let us lay down and sleep. So they both lay down and sleep. Five minutes later, the man popped up again. He said, I would like that water pot. Ram Dass gave him the water pot. And this continued through the night. Uh, the man asked for the umbrella. Ram Dass gave it to him. He, he asked for... The uh, hurricane lamp, Ram Dass gave it to him. The religious books, Ram Dass gave it to him. Thing after thing after thing. Uh, as and he started to wrap them up in his bundle, which was getting rather big at, at this time. And, and Ram Dass said, Oh Lord, thy tests are wonderful. Everything is thine and thine alone. And the man looked at him and he said, You may regret this after I leave, will you not? Ram Dass said, no, of course not. You are Ram himself. You are only taking your own things. The man said, one more thing. Your spectacles. Ram Dass took off his spectacles and gave them to the man. He was certain that God himself had indeed come to, to test him. Ram, then the man said, and one more. It is yours, Ram. Take whatever you want. He said, your loincloth. <laughs> Ram Dass started to take, take it off. He got it most of, the, most of the way off. The man said, no, never mind. I do not need it. <laughs> and he got up to go. And he said, will you come with me? Ram Dass said, by all means, Ram, I will come with you. He said, not, not now. Later you come with me. He just walked, went to step out the door into the pouring monsoon. And he turned and said, what do you think of me? I am not mad. I am not. And Ram Dass could barely speak. He was so choked with emotion. He said, you are he. You are he. And the man left. And Ram Dass sat to meditate. He meditated through the rest of the night into the morning. It was broad daylight when he finished and there was a crowd gathered outside this little room because someone had come to bring him breakfast and had noticed that all the things that Ram Dass had had, he didn't have anymore. And he thought a thief had come, or Ram Dass was perhaps meditating and just made off with everything. So they asked Ram Dass what happened. Ram Dass said, the Lord provideth through one form and taketh away through another. And that didn't satisfy the crowd at all. They wanted an explanation. So Ram Dass told them everything that had happened. And when someone suggested the man should be hunted down and captured, Ram Dass said, for what fault of his? He was just taking the things that 
were his own. He was the Lord himself. And everybody, knowing Ramdas, accepted that explanation and went away. And soon Ramdas's brother had restored all the things that had been that Ramdas had given away. And he wanted to, to restore his spectacles as well. And Ramdas said, No, no, perhaps the the Lord may have deprived Ramdas. He always talked about himself in the third person. Perhaps the Lord has deprived Ramdas of his spectacles because he might not need them in the future. And indeed, from that day on, for the rest of his life until he was quite old, Ramdas did not wear spectacles because his vision had been completely restored. Beautiful story of just living the dream, living the belief that God is everything, that everything that comes to us is from God. It's not easy. But if it's the ultimate truth, what could be more irresistible than testing it, at least now and then? And I know there are people in this community who live it on a regular basis, whether through the giving of resources or giving of time or giving of skills or giving of kindness or service. And you see it in their lives. You see the happiness that comes. You see the freedom that comes. And you think, okay, um, I know the great saints do this, and that sometimes makes it unapproachable because it seems so far. But here are my friends. Here are my guru bhais. Here are people I watch on a day-to-day basis. They're doing it. Maybe I could do it too. And may we all strive to do that in our lives. God bless you.